I'm going to kind of show you my progress so far in this bike frame and ask another question because I'm stuck again. Uh, my last problem I didn't really resolve, I kind of did a workaround, um, but basically I'll show you where I am. This is actually the progress that I'm at here, but I can kind of go back here and show you how I got there essentially. I just went and created pipe under the sculpt feature there and I believe I did different sizes like I did a pipe like that or something at a certain uh, diameter I don't remember like one inch or something um, and then I did the other ones added separately so they weren't all the same size but I'm just gonna do them all the same size here for just kind of the purposes of going through this quickly but I'm having this issue where it's not evenly splitting you can kinda of see that kink there on one side but the other side seems to look fine and that also happens at the top here you can see my this in my last video there's a kink right there um, but I wasn't able to resolve it so what I did is I went through and I actually just clicked on faces and I hit delete like this and I just click faces and delete and I went through and I separated all the connections that um, looked bad and then I went back um, this isn't gonna look good because it took me a while to figure out stuff that would work but I went through and I made connections for instance here um, I did something like I think weld vertices so I grabbed a point that I thought looked good and I actually added faces too in areas that I can't remember um, and it seems to go into this block mode when it's not fully resolved or you have a point that comes to an infinite, like, smallness size, whatever you call that. Um, and I just kind of stitched it around. And that's essentially what I did, just kind of what I'm doing here. Obviously, I, I, like, added faces and stuff to make it actually work. But I think you get the kind of gist of what I tried to do. So I'm just going to cancel out of this and then go back to where I'm at. So where I'm at here um, is I'm having issues with symmetry. Um, it's not perfect on each side, but I was what I was thinking of doing is using the symmetry feature here. Internal symmetry seems to look fine. That green line you see in the middle I would use to be this line here, this darker black line. And I... The way I made that line is I actually I inserted points. I can kind of show you what I did. Let's see. I went like insert point here. And I noticed it snaps into midpoint with this red dot whenever you go in a line. So I just kind of went along like this and then hit OK. And that's essentially how I made the lines. So you can see that line here. But that's how I made this line that goes down the center. And then what I did is I selected these. I think you can double click. Yep. You can double click if it's kind of straight. And what I did is I went modify. And then I did crease. And I just made that kind of solid. I'm just going to cancel that though. And just undo those lines. So that's what I did to get this middle line here. It goes all the way around. And I also did that on top as well. And just kind of followed it all the way around. So you can kind of see it goes around like that. And what I was assuming, I must be un misunderstanding it, or it's not seeing the symmetry, or maybe there's something wrong with my crease line, I don't know. But I went here to internal. And the way I understand it is you have a master side and a slave side, the side that you want to be copied you click first and then the second side will copy that I, th I assume and if it's smart enough it will be able to do the symmetry in one go but here you can see I've got an arrow it says it could not determine the symmetry continue selecting edges so then I assume that you click two edges that should be mirrored as well so I'll just pick this edge for the master and this edge for the slave and now I need to select a vertex because that didn't work either so I'll just pick this one and this one because they should be mirrored and then it's going to pop up with this error could not determine the symmetry from the selections and one of the things it said there is do the faces have I've, it went away something about having multiple different amounts of edges or something but 
Yeah, I can't figure it out, but I'm just trying to get symmetry along this whole thing. I would do it to every face, to each side. Um, but if you have any tips on that, that would be much appreciated. Um, any other comments would also be appreciated if you think it would be helpful. Um, thanks. Bye.